To truly manifest your dreams, you need to get a little selfish and even embrace your villain mode at this time. What is villain mode? Practice in and focus on yourself, cutting out distractions and breaking free from societal expectations that may hold you back from your dreams, aka put yourself first. That is what villain mode is all about. When you think of a villain, what do you think of? You think of some villain, some bad person, someone in your one of your favorite superhero movies and a superhero comes and saves the day from the evil villain. But what does every villain have? A backstory. Evil was never born that way. It was made that way. And then you see them triumphantly after getting kicked and pulled in different directions and circumstances like the Joker. Then all of a sudden they rise one day and say enough, enough is enough. This is the era of which you're going into. Minus harming people and all of that stuff. The thing you're going to do during this villain mode is put yourself first, which can make you become a villain in other people's stories. At the end of this video, you will learn why being selfish is essential for manifestation and how entering your villain mode can change your whole life. Hi, I'm Stacy, and welcome to my channel, Stacy's Ascension Academy. I'm switching things up around here, and I'm going to be doing a lot more spiritual videos and self-development videos to help you on your spiritual evolution. And we're going to talk about a little bit of everything on this podcast. This is when we start doing a podcast form right now. So if you like these videos and want to learn more, join me on this journey of self-discovery and evolution. Now let's get into it. Why you need to be selfish to manifest. It doesn't mean you're going to harm others, but rather focusing on your goals and your needs and your desires. Manifestation requires an unwavering focus on your own growth, passion, and personal energy. And when you care too much about others' opinions and asking for advice can lead to blocks in your manifestation, your energy being drawn. For example, if you are, you have a goal, you want to open a business, and let's say, for example, you're one of your siblings or something or one of your best friends is expecting a new child. Now, they want you to be there for them. Can you come over? Can you help me with this? Can you take me to a doctor's appointment? Can you do this? Can you do that? Guess what that's going to take away from you? Your time, your precious time to work on that new business that you've been trying to work on. A lot of you males out there, you know, love to take your mother's places and drive them here and drive them there. And sometimes to the detriment of your own personal well-being, to the personal things that you need to achieve and accomplish. At what point do you say, as much as I love you, I cannot take you here every Sunday. I cannot take you here every single day. I cannot do these tasks because it's taken away from myself. Enter the villain mode. You guys are scared to be villains. You guys are scared to be a bad guy because you think some kind of karmic reaction is going to happen. There is no karmic reaction that's going to happen. That is not how the universe works. What you focus on is what it grows. But if you focus on everybody else outside of yourself, that is what's going to grow and you are going to shrink. It is okay to set boundaries. It is okay to step into your highest timeline at this time. It is okay to put yourself first. It is okay to put your gas mask on before you put someone else's mask on. That's what they tell you in the plane. So therefore, it's time in life for you to put your gas mask on. Enter your villain mode. Enter a time of selfish, of putting your needs first and prioritizing your needs first. This is not a concept for everyone, but if it is and you've had enough and you feel like you're hitting blocks and things aren't happening for you and you find that, all of your energy is being given outside of you, then this is the time that you need to put everything and everyone aside and prioritize yourself. Okay. This is not a this is not about saying, um, you know, 
telling people how much of a horrible person they are and this and that and all this kind of thing. No, it's simply setting strong boundaries, saying no to what doesn't serve your highest purpose and breaking free from people pleasing habits. When you manifest and you shift your mindset, it's going to be about you. You must put yourself first. This helps your your energy align with your desires. You must have your energies align with your desires and not what other people's desires are. Society often views self-focus as a bad thing or selfish. Or you're being you know, so negative. But in fact, it's you reclaiming your personal power reclaim your personal power some of the benefits of entering into your villain mode at this time is you get to feel empowered you get an increase in self-worth and creating your space makes your vibration higher to manifest you must be in the right vibration I'm not saying you can't be in a bad mood. Honor your bad moods. We're not going to love and light this all over the place. If you're in a bad mood and things are not going well at the time, understand that, embrace that feeling, step into it, and then you overpower it and step into your villain mode, okay? What happens in the movies and the villains? They get stomped on. They get spit at. They get all of these adversities until they say one day, no more. So use your pain, use your anger to say no more. It is time that I self-prioritize myself. It's time to set proper boundaries and focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. If there's something and someone that is draining your energy, it's because you are not setting the proper boundaries. You're putting other people, other things outside of yourself, above you. And in order to manifest, it starts from within. You cannot shift your realities until you shift what is going on inside of you. And if you are constantly being pulled in other directions besides exactly where you're supposed to be um, going, which is inward, then you will never manifest what you need to manifest. You will never be able to focus on your dreams. It's not a magic wand where you keep affirming it and it happens, although it can because that's happened with me a couple of times depending on. But I'm not going to affirm, affirm a million dollars and then boop, it just happens. You want it to happen under grace without harm to anyone, which means you have to have a clear focus mind, a clear focus spirit, a clear focus energy to feel and know the inspired actions when they come to you. There's a difference between inspired and forced. When you're trying to force something to happen, it never works. You spin on that hamster wheel. But when you take inspired action, for example, you ask for a job. You want, a, you want a new job and you feel like uh, this job is not the place for you. Then you start seeing in your timeline, you start seeing all these, oh, we're hiring, we're hiring, top salary, top salary. Those are going to be the signs, the inspired action for you to go out there, take the chance and apply to these things, apply to these things. And boom, you will have your six-figure job. You must have focus on thyself in order to hear it. It's time to step into your villain mode. It's time to tell people, kick rocks. <laughs> I'm focused on me this week. No, I don't have time to go to the club on Saturday. I don't have time to go do this on Sunday and brunch and all this because I'm focused on myself and my dreams and my purpose. And it's time for you to enter that mode. People are not going to like you. Some people are going to be upset. You know, when they say money changes you, it's supposed to. You got money now. Are you supposed to stay exactly the same? No. What doesn't grow dies. You must evolve. So of course you're going to change, but the ultimate values and beliefs that you have are going to be there. You're still going to be kind and loving, but you know the people pleasing thing has got to stop. You must be kind and loving to yourself first. Let's talk about how to enter your villain mode. First, you want to do is identify where you're giving too much of your energy to others, friends, family, work, etc. Where are you putting all of these things first before you? Two, you want to set clear boundaries with people and or situations and let them know this is not a good time. I can't show up for you here. I have this going on. I can't do that. I can't come to every family function. I have things to do. Three, you want to create a focus plan that puts your needs and manifestations at the front. It's going to be at the forefront. Not do this first. Now, I'm not saying if to go neglect and abandon your family. Obviously, if you have a baby, you're going to have to change the baby's diapers. Those things come first. You, you have to let's make it make a logical sense here folks 
So <laughs> this is, you know what I mean? Obviously, you do the due diligence that you have to do. But all the extras and all that, you know, mommy and me, brunch and all that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff you don't need to take part in because it's going to take away from what you need to do. Okay? Four, you need to start saying no to obligations that don't align with your goals. No, I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to do that. I know that in my life, I used to say yes to everybody. Everyone wants to go out and see me and let's, you know, come on, let's, uh, we have a birthday party that's going to end up, you know, everyone splits the bill and you end up paying for $250 or something a piece and you just had like a piece of cake and a salad. <laughs> And now all this money just kept getting sucked out of me, sucked out of me. And I didn't understand what was happening. It's because I'm saying yes to everybody when half the time all I wanted to do was sit at home with my dog and just chill and be still. No. Learn to say no. The fifth step is you want to use some daily affirmations to start journaling, to empower yourself and remind yourself of what it is you came here to do and what you're doing. Okay, this is a time for you to really laser focus in on your goals and your dreams in order to manifest. You will never get what you need if everyone and everything outside of you comes first. You have to shift that within you first. Step into this villain mode. Step into this time of, hey, you're not going to be the good guy in everybody's, in everybody's um, um, movie just because this is your own movie. You're the writer, the director, the star. You put the, the supporting characters and they're going to be around you according to what's going on in you. So if you're people pleasing and that is what your main storyline is, then you're going to attract a bunch of people to please consistently because the universe is going to give you what you focus on. And if you focus on everybody else, it's going to give you everybody else. OK, what happens when you embrace this mode? OK. This is going to start to transform your manifestation at a laser focus place, okay? Powerful transformation will start to happen when you put yourself first. When you put yourself over other things and people, you will start to align quickly. I know that once I left where I used to live, which was the great old state of New York, and started to put my goals and achievements above other people, and not saying that I told everybody else in my life to kick rocks, but for a degree, I did kick rocks <laughs> and started focus on and prioritizing myself. And my manifestation started to rapidly grow rapidly where I was kind of spinning before and asking everybody else's opinion before I start to do things. I need I, to consult with everyone outside of me. I've noticed I was manifesting for other people's dreams and not my own. So you must embrace this at this time so you can rapidly speed up what it is that you came to put into this earth okay embrace it that is all i have for you guys at this time i encourage you to reflect on where you are at this time in your life and where can you be a little bit more selfish where can you put yourself a little bit ahead of time ahead of other people and other things take five minutes today to journal about where you need to set proper boundaries take five minutes out your day today and just see where it is that you are giving away all of your power and set those proper boundaries okay now go ahead and like and comment and subscribe don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you can see the next videos i have coming up which i'm going to try to do this on a daily basis for at least 20 days or so but don't hold me to it if i miss a day okay this is just a goal that i'm setting for myself so if you want to join me on this journey and we're going to keep learning more spiritual developments and more things that are going to help you on this beautiful journey of life and quicker to your manifestation then go ahead and subscribe and also i encourage you now if you are seeing a lot of repeated numbers angel numbers and a lot of different animals that are coming to you this is messages from the universe universe sends you messages as guides when you're on a particular path and they will give you the answers that you receive. If you're seeing a particular animal out the norm on the news feed or something or in real life, it is not by coincidence is giving you a sacred message. And I've designed a ebook to help you guys with that. And it's, I've been encouraged by my God 
by my spirit guides to make this free. So if you want to download your free copy of my angel numbers and spirit animal guide, it's going to be linked in the description below. Go ahead and just download it. So now you know what spirit is trying to tell you, what your guides are trying to tell you when these numbers and these animals come to you. Okay. Ciao. See you guys next time.